65 year and them suckers humble me every year. I'm Hunter Phelps. As an outdoor producer, I've had the chance to travel to some unbelievable places and have met some amazing people along the way. Luckily for me, some of these people were needle movers in their industry. This turkey season, I teamed up with my best production buddies, Micah Morgan and Joe Cato, to shed light on just a few of them. All along this season, as we hunt with athletes, artists, and hunting legends, and get the inside scoop on how they move the needle. It's gonna be a fun week. My dad, my buddy Keith, and myself, New Zealand Red Stack. This week, I traveled to New Zealand for Red Stag with my dad and good friend Keith. Now, while we're ascending up steep elevation in hopes of hearing the roar of a stag, Micah and Joe are trekking through the hardwood autumns of Mississippi with hopes of hearing a gobbler. In Micah and Joe's favor, they brought along two legendary turkey hunters, Harold Knight and Andy Morgan. Harold, this is River Bean. Uh, it's a big bunch of ground. This is the Mississippi River. This is the Mississippi Delta. I know you've hunted the Delta before, yeah, but this yeah. is some prime ground. Boy, you right on the Mississippi. We right, right here, right on it. the river bank. And I have never hunted turkeys here. I've been part of this club several years. Mm -hmm. Deer hunted only. Yeah. Have never hunted turkeys. But Michael Young says there's lots of turkeys in the territory, and I've seen them in deer season. It's it's exceptional you'll be impressed when you see the terrain and the food plots and the habitat for these turkeys but basically we start from right here from joe melton's line we run all the way back here against the river it's almost four thousand acres Woo. that'll be enough land that ought to get us a couple we'll have that honey in a couple days uh, <laughs> hey i can't old david hill here i guarantee you get off the property somewhere <laughs> Harold cut his teeth around the hills and lakes of Katy's, Kentucky, where he was raised. Growing up, facing the eastern wild turkey in one of the hardest areas to bag one helped Harold gain a knack for learning the sounds of the animals he hunted and figuring out a way to reproduce them. In the early 70s, Harold teamed up with good friend David Hale to start building calls in the back of Harold's barber shop. Harold and David knew they were in need for innovative calls to help hunters across the country become more successful. In 1984, they took a chance and went full-time with their new company, Night and Hell Game Calls. After years of sweat equity, the Kentucky Boys purchased an injecting molding machine that would change the course of the company. Soon after, they began mass producing the calls for the deer and waterfowl hunters as well. After many handshake deals, the Night and Hell Boys were able to light a flame in the world of calls. To this day, hunters take to the woods Night and Hell Calls in hand in hopes of luring in any contestants.
clear and flop. How many you think you've shot like that? 65 years. A bunch. <laughs> a bunch. Now that was a long shot. Yeah. I, yeah. About 18 I, You got to put it right on his head. I know that's when you come in, you let old, you let old sh shuffle shit. <laughs> See how white his head was? Yeah, he got whiter. Yeah. He got whiter. Yeah. Yeah. When I first started turkey hunting, I didn't know what a decoy was. Yeah. We didn't have decoys. And of course, we, this is what you call running gun. We don't blind or nothing. We just take off. Yeah. And when you got cameramen, it's four of us. By golly, if you got to be hit. That's These dope. are Eastern wild turkey, you know, yeah. they're wild. I've had the opportunity to hunt all, practically all over the United States. I've hunted the Eastern turkey, the Marion turkey, the Rio Grande. But this old Eastern turkey right here we got in the Eastern part of the United States is my favorite. And then, then to have the opportunity, this is icing on the cake. I don't have to kill one to enjoy it, I'm telling you that. If I get to go and just hear one, and listen to them gobbling, my gosh, some of the most memorable hunts of my life is when I screwed up and missed them. And I've done that a lot. And I won't tell all of you, I've hunted 65 years and them suckers humble me every year. I'll tell you what, Andy, I'm through. Let's go get you one. Morning's early. It's early. You shot him, I'll pack him. Hey, I'm more for that now I'm getting it. <laughs>